The Big Bang and Explosive Beginning Our universe began with a colossal explosion of energy some 13.8 billion years ago. We call this event the Big Bang. Everything was concentrated into a single, infinitely dense point. This tiny point was where our journey began. The Big Bang was an explosion of space itself. The universe started to expand and cool. This cooling was crucial for the formation of the universe as we know it. In the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang, something incredible happened. The universe expanded at an extraordinary rate. This period of rapid expansion is known as inflation. Imagine a grain of sand suddenly swelling to the size of a galaxy in less than a blink of an eye. That's inflation. This dramatic expansion smoothed out the fabric of space-time. It explains why our universe appears relatively uniform on a large scale. Inflation is a crucial part of the Big Bang Theory. It solves several cosmological puzzles. One of these puzzles is the horizon problem. The horizon problem asks why distant parts of the universe look so similar. These regions are so far apart that they shouldn't have had time to interact or equalize their temperatures. Inflation provides a solution. These regions were once in close contact before being rapidly pushed apart. Though inflation happened in a fraction of a second, it had a profound impact on the evolution of the universe. After inflation, the universe continued to expand, but at a slower rate. It was now filled with a hot, dense soup of fundamental particles. Imagine a cosmic cauldron teeming with quarks, leptons, and bosons. These particles are the building blocks of all matter in the universe. At this point, the universe was too hot for atoms to form. Particles collided at high speeds, constantly interacting and transforming. It was a chaotic and energetic environment, full of potential. As the universe expanded and cooled, this particle soup began to change. The energy of the early universe started to condense into matter. This transition from energy to matter is one of the most profound concepts in physics. It's described by Einstein's famous equation, EMC2, which tells us that energy and matter are two sides of the same coin. This primordial soup held the ingredients for everything we see around us today. Section 4. Formation of Matter. From Energy to Atoms. As the universe cooled, a fundamental transition took place. The formation of matter. The universe was now cool enough for quarks to combine. They formed protons and neutrons, the building blocks of atomic nuclei. Protons, with their positive charge, and neutrons, with no charge, could now exist stably. This marked a crucial step towards the formation of atoms. However, the universe was still too hot for electrons to bind to these nuclei. The universe was filled with a sea of charged particles, primarily protons and electrons. Light couldn't travel freely through this charged soup. It was constantly being scattered and absorbed, making the universe opaque. This period is often referred to as the opaque era. The universe was evolving from a sea of energy to a universe dominated by matter. This transformation set the stage for the next major event, recombination. Section 5. Recombination, Let There Be Light. Around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe had cooled significantly. This cooling was crucial for a momentous event recombination. Finally, electrons could be captured by atomic nuclei, forming the first atoms. Recombination had a profound effect on the universe. It became transparent to light. This freed light is what we observe today as the cosmic microwave background radiation. Section 6. Cosmic Dawn the first stars ignite. After recombination, the universe entered a period known as the cosmic dark ages. It was dark because there were no stars yet, only vast clouds of hydrogen and helium. Gravity played a crucial role during this era. It caused these clouds to clump together, drawing in more and more gas. As these clumps grew denser, their cores became hotter and hotter. Finally, after millions of years, the temperatures and pressures inside these cores became high enough to ignite nuclear fusion. The first stars were born, 
blazing with a brilliant blue-white light. These stars were gigantic and short-lived, very different from the stars we see today. They were the first light sources to illuminate the universe after the Big Bang. The cosmic dark ages were coming to an end, giving way to a universe filled with light and the potential for life.